It's Toon Tuesday. This week, it's the Toon Tuesday Halloween Special. The Canadian Milkman Massacre. The tune in which you are about to see is the account of a tragedy which befell many unfortunate Canucks. It was all the more tragic in that they were unable to hit their dab pens one last time. But had they been very, very stoned when they died, they could not have expected, nor would they have wished to see, as much of the idiotic amounts of semen milked that day. For them, an idyllic, insane clown posse hollow wicked road trip became a nightmare. The events of that day were to lead to the discovery of one of the most bizarre crimes in the annals of Canadian history, the Canadian Milkman Massacre. <coughs> Fuck yeah, bud! ICP! Whoop whoop! <coughs> ah. Wh where am I? Hey! Aren't you the Iceman from Ice Advice with Not Slim One? Maybe I am, but for now you can call me the Milkman, bod. Why do they call you that? You're about to find out. Please, I can't make any more cum. Time to die then. Looks like the cadaver was cummed upon. Tell us something we don't know, Doctor. The boy's covered in the stuff. Well, the peculiar thing is this. 65% of the DNA is his own, and we found DNA from three other individuals. Either this was the sickest game of Soggy Biscuit ever played, or my name's not Dr. Funny Bear. Doctor, how can you joke at a time like this? Hey, I'm not joking. He's the one who's got his head up his own ass. Dr. Funny Bear, incoming emergency. Sadly, there's nothing we can do for him. <coughs> Who's out here doing this stuff? So you see, officers, these victims that have been turning up are coming in covered in the sea captain's chunky white gravy. Spit it out, Doc. Layman's terms. These corpses are coming in covered in ejaculate. Gesundheit. So that means we can do a DNA test and find the rapist. Well, that's just it. It's not just from one source, it's multiple sources, plus the victim's own semen. Interesting. Using a mixture of semen, throwing off our DNA results? There's no way we'll find him. There he is, leaving Tim Hortons. Fucking narc? Motherfuck. After him. This'll slow him down. Ah! <laughs> Officer Chauncey here. Send every available unit to the residence of the Iceman, a.k.a. the Milkman. I'm sorry, Officer Chauncey. You guys are all we've got. All right, Knucklehead. This is the place. Well, don't look at me. Grab the battering ram. Oh my god! Uh, Help us! He's been milking us for our cum! What kind of sick fuck would do this? Who are you calling a sick fuck? This is all Trudeau's fault, man. I'm just a patsy. Is this your house? Yes. And are you the milkman murderer responsible for killing dozens of young boys and covering their bodies in bucket loads of semen, which appears to be collected from hostages you're harboring here in your house as we speak? Look, man, I don't know those people. Looks like everything checks out to me. He says he don't know him. I guess he's not our man. Bye, Felicia. Time for some donuts. It's been a brutal month of murders, and the police still have no idea where the milkman is or how to stop him. 
lock your doors, and if you believe in God, pray. The milkman went on to slay as many as 17 victims in the coming days leading into Halloween, each victim coming in more mangled than the last. He moved so stealthily and quickly in the night, it kicked up a cyclone of semen, which Dr. Funny Bear described only as a jiznado. The milkman is still at large, and the case file remains open to this day. The Canadian Milkman Massacre. Happy Halloween!